Tonight, there is a debate over drones taking flight here in Connecticut. Lawmakers want to ban some groups from using drones that are made in China or Russia. And as Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski explains, it could really have a big impact on first responders. Drones giving first responders a bird's eye view when putting out fires or catching bad guys. So I could take this and I could put it in infrared. The Brantford Fire Department was the first fire department to utilize drones. We're able to send these machines in and get an eyeball over something that we potentially could hurt one of our people. But things could change. The Connecticut legislature is considering a bill that would ban the state and local agencies to use foreign made drones. We heard from experts about the fact that uh, foreign made drones are a national security threat to our country, to our military, and also to state governments as well. One of which is DJI Drones, a Chinese owned drone manufacturer. The sooner we can ban these drones, the better. This comes at a time when Chinese owned company TikTok is under fire. It's not just the images, it's not just the video that's being collected, but it's the telemetry data as well as the geolocation data that can be exploited if uh, if uh, the sort of data falls into the hand of a, an adversarial nation state. Local fire departments and police use these drones to save lives. I think it's kind of the wave of the future, to be honest with you. Now the question is, what will fire departments and police departments do if these drones are banned? We would love to support the bill as long as there was a way to either grandfather our drones in that we can use them until they are kind of cycled through and we can get more money for new drones or if there was a way for the state to help us get new drones so we could phase these out a little quicker. Lawmakers spearheading this bill say that won't be a problem. We want to work with our first responders, our police and firefighters uh, to help them uh, transition away from these foreign made drones and into with American made drones. In Brantford, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.